Uh, he is the contractor. Okay. Okay, I'm here. I'm here, and I'm doing the Let's Nathan. I'm doing the Nathan play, and I'm gonna do Last of Us. Cause, and I hope you're fucking happy, Shaw, because you're gonna let get me to voice all my unpopular opinions and put them on the internet. So here's the thing about this game: I don't like this game. I mean, I like this intro a lot, but I don't like the game. Or, you know, finger quotes game. And. But I'm not going to give sh I'm not going to nitpick. I'm not going to give shit where like where shit's not due. So like for this first like 15 minute section or however long the intro is, you're probably going to hear me suck the game's dick a lot because the intro is actually really well designed. It's like up there with BioShock 1 and I'd say like You like it? That's a really good fucking intro. Well, like No More Heroes. I don't know why that came to mind, but Oh, Metal Gear Rising. Metal Gear Rising has a great intro. I think it's. I mean, what? they're what? all accomplishing d different things. Oh, like, wow. yeah, people who play Metal Gear Rising and who play this will probably hear that. Like, fuck, Drugs. like, those are completely different. Yeah, they're completely different, but Good. they accomplish what the games more. need to accomplish yeah, in an intro. Did. So, okay, okay, okay. Let me back up. Because it's going to be an honest critique, and I haven't really talked jack shit about the game yet. In the however the fuck long I've been, like, the one minute I've been talking. So let me let me define some terms here because I've been thinking about it like as I'm doing stuff and things, getting ready for recording this. I've been thinking about uh, what irks me about Last of Us, and like I said, this intro is good, but the storytelling methods and techniques they apply in this intro, they apply everywhere where they sh like they they don't function, and like. Like this controllable helplessness we're about to experience, which is a really sensitive element to use in storytelling, because in uh, storytelling in games that is. Well, you can don't really own it in the games, but okay. Tell me what time is it? I need to talk to your dad now. There's something. <laughs> yeah. Uncle Tommy. Hello. Oh god, that was so much dead air. But uh, for some reason, I was. I'm, I'm super distracted by this mirror. This is the second time I went through this before I started recording. I got super distracted by this mirror because I realized that it starts right in front of this, and I real I wonder what like. I think that it's showing the bash. I think it's showing us that uh that, that this is our player carry that we are indeed controlling the little girl when we have the strong bearded white man as a, a player character option. It instead opted for the girl. Dad. But. Oh, I completely lost my mind while Daddy? I was talking about great intros, defining my terms, that's it. Like, alright, there's nitpicking, and there's critiquing. And I'm going to critique, but the critique is going to be mostly positive at the start, because, like, I don't know, you could go in here. Let's get ourselves a newspaper. We're going to whack some zombies in the new paper. Admit spikes in area hospitals. I'm sure it's nothing. It's just the wind. It was just rats. But, um... Like, nitpicking is giving, sh a, uh, like, a story shit for shit that doesn't matter. Like, that's a very exact definition, I know. But, like, some shit matters in a story, some shit doesn't. Like, I've always wondered what the fuck uh, Joel does for a living. But it's not really important. Uh, quick side, shout us to this scene. Eat straight up, okay... We got our noisemaker, panicky soldier of the quarter. Oh, and there are a little windows to the outside world where we see that shit is indeed going down. I love this, like, feeder, curtain, stage style, like, viewport of it. Yeah. So, like, in this opening right here, controllable helplessness aside, I'll get to that later, because it's too important to cover when I have other shit to talk about. Yeah, I'm sure you'll ha hear me interrupt myself like seven times uh, regarding that, but... So, like, the dialogue in this game kind of pisses me off and I hate it. Let me, re let me, let me uh, elaborate, let me expand before you kill me. Like, especially in that uh, very first cinematic, it has this, like, eight missed calls, but Joel only has two friends! It has this kind of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, like, snappiness, wittiness, timing, that is completely, like, not, you know, natural human sounding. Um, and the game, 
Like, it stops for this part of the intro, for this, like, playable part of the intro. It gets all, like, tense and stilted, and that's a good are thing, okay? because, like, the contrast yeah. is good. Which means, not, I mean, not only is it good that it's stilted now, it's no, good that it was, like, here. unnaturally witty door, before. Just, I mean, not, like, uncannily there. witty. Not, like, Dad, weird kind of witty. When I say unnatural, I don't mean, like, weird. I mean, like, just not really how people talk. And it's like, it's trying to be how people... How close can I get to this? Oh, okay, that's me yeah. out. <laughs> I kind of want to, like, walk up to the window and, like, interfere with the games as, like, where I should go. I didn't do that the first time. I was, like, I was willing to abide the games, like, you're a little girl, uh, situation at first, so I, like, didn't try shit like that. But, oh, we are all up in Joel's face right now. But, yeah, like, it's, like, unnaturally witty, and I kind of take it, a, like, problem with that, because it's trying to sound like the wit of real normal people, but it just fucking can't, because, like, fiction necessitates certain rhythm that normal dialogue would shit all over. And so it's you trying to, it's yeah. trying to shove a camel through the eye of a needle. It's trying to put the up, naturalness of human dialogue okay. through the filter of the like rhythmic storytelling, sure like rhythmic, uh, rhythmic exchanges, I should say, since it's only like a very small part of like whole storytelling. Yeah, doing great. Well, let's put that other part. Yeah, I don't know. Definitely not. Shut important. up. But whoa, is that person or is Amber? But, yeah. And so, like, that's the thing about the dialogue. It's good that it changes here, but later in the game... Okay, I say later in the game, and I probably shouldn't. L1? What's L1? Oh, yeah, L1 seems. But I say later in the game, and I probably shouldn't. I don't want to, uh, like, critique shit, or, like, talk about shit, if I don't have stuff, like, in front of me that I can point to and say, this is what I'm talking about. So even though I feel like the dialogue in the game gets, like, completely unnatural, forced, trite, like, interrupting goddamn everything, I'm not gonna go over that. Like, not in detail. Not, like, critique go over it. Because I have no examples of that yet. I mean, I certainly fucking will, like, if I play this for more than, like, half an hour, but, you know. I might not. I might not break it up into that many parts. Or I might not, like, have that many parts at all. So I'm just trying to get out of the way of what I, like, really want to say about this game. So, alright. I should have been moving around more. Because I want to say that interactive help is this thing I, I was talking about before. This is, this is how you do it, because, like, people will know me. I got a kid, Joel. So do we. We have room. Keep driving. Yeah. Establishing character moment. Joel don't give a fuck. Nah, um, like, people who know me will hear me say, all, all storytelling, all fiction is ultimately contrivance, because it is, it's all arbitrary, because it is arbitrary to make a story where there was previously no story. It is arbitrary to, like, say, these are the characters, these are the, this is the setting, like, those thing, things aren't set up like that in reality. And that difference from reality. Oh no! He's getting slapped, fighty, fighted to death. Somebody help the man! Who here is good at slap maga? Oh, alright. So here's the control of this thing. You either get. You look forward and you see the car, like, absolutely fuck itself trying to turn around, or you look to the side and you see the zombie come within two inches of you. Oh, and so, like, what I'm talking about when I, when I, what, the point I'm getting at when I talk words about all sorts of being contrivances is that, like, it's like, it's okay that even though it's a game, our interaction is limited to, like, looking around this car that we have to have. Because, like, because it's cast us in the role of a little girl, and our role is our uh, our interaction with the world is defined by our um, our role. In it. Oh no! More these these aren't just zombies; they're fucking slap fighting zombies. God help us all! Oh, okay, I gotta keep my way. No, um, oh my god, Joel, that's a nice watch, but. <laughs> Oh, um, quick aside, uh, some, like, unimportant shit. Like, 
that they survived that. I haven't been in car crash. You know, maybe that was like a pussy car crash. Oh, what's up? It's a great time to win. No, it's not a great time to win. Oh, it's a Tommy event. What's up, Tommy? But, <laughs> but yeah, um, I haven't been in many car crashes. Maybe that one was completely unsurvivable. Maybe it was a pussy car crash. But yeah, regardless, doesn't fucking matter because I'm. Oh, I'm glad by the way that like Tommy was a thing even after the retarded time skip. I'll fucking get the time skip certainly. I will. I have time. Yeah. Because oh, gotta stick with Tammy. Because like it would have been stupid to like introduce this guy and like and he he's endeared but to the player whether the design is intended or not. They probably did. Like by being their protector. Shit is going down. By the way, um, excuse me, fucking everybody, could you get out of my way? Yeah, he's endeared to the player just by him like protecting me and us and things. Oh, like this is one of the adva great advantages of video games. Whoa. Also, there's a fire truck right there. Why not just hose motherfuckers? Like even the Zandies. Come on, NPC. I'm trying to walk here. Oh, what's playing at the Armadillo Theater? Actually, can you get close enough to see the... Oh, I like want to get close enough to see what's playing at the theater, like what names they made up, but I also don't want to fucking die. <laughs> but yeah. Um, oh, hello. Oh, square, 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 square. Thank you, Tommy. What's the cap in that ass? Yeah. Holy shit! I complete, I was distracted by Armadillo Theater. I completely forgot what I was talking about. It was probably something with contrivances. You're rolling the game. Yeah, like it's okay that the uh, you're limited to just looking around because, um, like, in that case, the lack of interaction with the, like that is the game space. So there's no lack of interaction uh, with it. There is. It, you are interacting with it to the extent that the game gonna be is, like... And so, like... Judging it... Whoa, there's shit behind me. Judging it for, like, not giving you enough interaction will be judging it for something that's not. You know? Once it gets to the third-person shooter part, however, once we're there and we actually have agency in the world and it's limited to just the boringest parts of Joel's life, that is when the game starts to be like overly constrained in like, in the interactions it gives us. Alright, okay, speaking of contrivance, let's hey, look at. Alright, you know what? Help. I'm sure there are soldiers in the world that would totally follow this order. I haven't met them. I've met You're plenty of soldiers. Sick. I got military in my family. But, and, like,. Daddy, what about they would, they would tell back. a superior officer to go fuck himself if he said, "Shoot that baby." But, you know, like, yes. you know, it's not even a faith in humanity thing. It's a personal just, experience thing that I have not, oh, met enough uh, asshole soldiers to believe that like this is, this is a willing suspension of disbelief thing, like. If it wasn't a soldier, it would have been oh, a bandit. No. If it wasn't a bandit, it would have been a zombie. If it wasn't, Sarah. like, the soldier thing, I only... Th like, this is actually this is actually a good example of it. Oh, no. Look at all those dying girl sounds. I got so attached to what's-her-face in the literally less than 15 minutes I play with her. I'm gonna cry now. I know, baby. Like... Come on, baby. You know what? I'm not giving the game shit by saying that. I'm giving people to play the game shit. Because, like... Sarah. Like, I don't know. I could write a paper on, like, emotional attachment and what you have to do to, like, develop that sort of giving a shit for, for characters and stuff. And, like, how not... Like, it's not supposed to be deep. It's it's definitely supposed to be, like, visceral service, uh, surface level. Like, it's not supposed to be a stab in the gut. It's supposed to be a slap in the face. You know, where it's like the most superficial pain. Because like it just it's an element of the story, not like the folks of the story, so it can be small. The number of confirmed deaths has but, passed two hundred. And so when, when I give when I give shit for that, I'm really giving shit to the people who like 
Oh, I was so torn apart by the little girl dying. Oh, you were Fucking liar. <laughs> but with bureaucrats out of power, that's a good line. Los Angeles is now the latest city to be placed Because that's such like a hazy fucking word to in the first place. But, uh, yeah, like, it's a personal, ex uh, what I was saying about the soldier, it's a personal experience thing, but that's like, I met in a year with, uh, my willing suspension of disbelief of being staged in this case. Like, and I'm using that word, willing suspension the phrase is willing suspension disbelief because it's well known, because people understand what it means, and so like, if I throw around trope names, it's because, you know, they have pre-established definitions that anybody can look up and I don't have to spend time defining them. Anyways, if, uh, it fucks with my willing suspension disbelief, but letting that happen is a mistake because, uh, like, it's not, what the, what the thing is, isn't important. Like, it would have been something that killed her. It was more important that it be an authority to kill her than the entire scene, holy god, he looks horrible, than the entire scene be like totally 100% in line with reality.